in our next elastic collision problem, two objects are having a, an elastic collision. <coughs> One object, M1, has an initial velocity of 4 meters per second, and the other object, mass M2, has a velocity of negative 3 meters per second. After collision, the first object has a velocity of 1 meter per second. What is the velocity of the second object? Well, let's look at the information we're given. We're given only three pieces of information. The initial velocity of each of the two objects, which are for one object 4 meters per second and the other negative 3 meters per second, and the velocity of one of the objects afterwards, which is 1 meter per second for, for the, the object with mass 1. Now notice, we don't have any masses here. There is no mass 1 or mass 2 given. We don't know what they are. But it doesn't really matter because we have our elastic um, uh, collision equation which says that the sum of the velocities before and after for object 1 are equal to the sum of the velocities before and after for object 2. So we just substitute v1 and v1 prime on the left side and v2 prime on the other and we just have to find the remaining the, 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 the speed of the mass 2 after the collision. Another way of doing this is simply to uh, get all the knowns on one side and the unknown on the other. V2 prime is unknown, so we'll subtract V2 from both sides. And we just get V2 prime equals V1 plus V1 prime minus V2. Plugging in all the numbers, we get a very simple result. 4 meters per second before plus 1 after for object 1 minus a negative uh, 3 meters per second uh, before for object 2. So our answer is 8 meters per second.